Good morning developers. If you are new to the channel, my name is Rob and in this playlist we are looking at the updates to ECMAScript or the standard for JavaScript since 2015. 2015 is when ES6 came out. It was a huge release, lots of awesome updates, but ECMA and the browsers have continued to, to add great features every year and a lot of them are getting overlooked, at least from where, from where I am. So I'm looking at them one at a time with you uh, to make sure that, that we stay up to date on where JavaScript is at. If you need a little detail on the relationship between ECMAScript and JavaScript and want some background, I will drop a couple links in the description as well as the GitHub link to this code. The code's going to be really simple though. You probably won't, uh, won't need it. Um, today we are looking at with. With is, uh, was added in 2023 or in ES14. Not to be confused with the keyword with. There's a whole bunch of red here. You're not supposed to use it. Um, it is totally different. This, I'm going to get out of there so you're not tempted by it. With is a prototype of arrays, meaning if you're an array, you have the with function. So you run this on arrays. Unlike the other thing, it's a standalone keyword. And the description here is a little bit wordy, but we'll struggle through it and then we'll look at the code. The with method of arrays is the copying version of using bracket notation to change the value at a given index. It returns a new array with the element at the given index replaced with the given value. Honestly, it's probably easier to think about it in contrast with splice. I will show you that in a minute. Uh, but it takes two arguments, an index, so where, and a value, which is what. Okay, let's hop over to Visual Studio Code. It'll be easier to just code it out. Uh, I'm using an HTML file. You can write this in a JavaScript file and run it in Node. Uh, this will just make it a little bit easier for, uh, for more people. Um, let's say we had a, a messaging app. Okay, and we wanted to keep track of the original messages but we want to allow users to make edits. So we've got our original messages and um, obviously we're not really making a messaging app, uh, but let's say um, I start off by saying hello and the other person says hi back. And then I respond with my name is Ron and I hit enter, except my name isn't Ron. Uh, the, the N happens to be next to the B and I do that all the time. But before I can edit it, Harold says his name is Harold. And so I want to go back and edit it. Well, as the developer, we want to allow that, but we want to keep a copy of the original messages so that we have it. Well, typically, what you would do is this. You would go straight to index two and you'd overwrite it with my name is Rob. And this will do the trick. And I'll console.log it, but I'm not actually going to go over there because you know perfectly well what's going to happen here. This is going to be one of the most common things that you do in JavaScript. Um, but what if we didn't want to actually change original messages? Well, you could do this. You could make messages and you could use spread syntax and copy original messages like so, and you could update messages too, like that. Or we could do const messages and you could slice it. So we could grab original messages and do a dot slice, open close, and line 12 would work just fine. But we can do this in one fell swoop. If we do this, we do const messages equals go to original messages, a comment out line 10 there, and do a dot with, go to index two and put in my name is Rob. So if we console.log both of these, original messages and messages, line 13 and 14, we will not have mutated 13. We will have our a new array, line 14, with our one change here on line 12. So hopping over here, refresh the page. There we go. We got my name is Ron and my name is Rob. Exactly the behavior that we want. As I said, this is kind of like a splice. If we were to do a messages dot splice, oh, let's do original messages dot splice. We would go to index two. We would delete one and then we would put in my name is Rob. I'm going to comment that out and put a comment next to it. This will mutate original messages in place, right? It changes it as is. This will return a new array with the change. So that is how with works. You don't want to have to do two steps with brackets, following a slice or following a spread notation. You can do it in one swoop with with. The syntax is, is kind of like splice. We tell it where and we tell it what. Just a couple quick notes here. Index parameter, it works the same as all arrays. If you go negative, it will go from the end of the array. 
Go down a little bit further here. The return value is, of course, the new array. If you combine with with at, you can both write and read an array with, ne with negative indices. You can chase that down. We're not talking about at, so I'm going to skip over that. The with method never produces a sparse array. So if the source array is sparse, they will be replaced with undefined. I will show that real quick. Uh, this is very common in, in ES23 if you have seen that. Um, but if, if I go to original messages, and I'm going to drop in there at index 10, uh, new message, this is going to create a sparse message. So we're going we're gonna to console.log both of them, 15 and 16. Come back over and refresh. Uh, 16 here has undefined, right? It cannot produce a sparse array. It's going to put in place of empty uh, undefined in every single index. Okay, so just be, be aware of that. It is also generic like pretty much all of these others are. Uh, if the thing has a, a property of length, you can run it. But generally speaking, you're only ever going to use with on an array. Okay, great job. I will see you in the next one.